We've been a couple for a few years. We've been a team now. Everyone knows about such big wrestlers like The Rock, Triple H, and The Undertaker, but not many people know about how these wrestlers get their start and they have to work for some of the local promotions before they can make it big. I had the pleasure of talking to one of the hottest tag teams in the St. Louis area, High Level Enterprise, who are part of the local wrestling promotion, Dynamo Pro. I sat with them and asked them how they got into wrestling, getting the opportunity to wrestle in Japan, and what some of their goals are. This is their story. What made me want to get into pro wrestling is very easy. It was uh, Shawn Michaels. He was so flamboyant and so over the top with everything he did. It's like, I wanted to be that guy. That, and he just hooked me in, man. That was it. It was one of those things that I, I just saw for the first time in late 96. And I don't know, I was kind of just captivated by it and knew that this is like, being a professional wrestler is what I wanted to do. The biggest accomplishment in my career so far would have to be going over to Tokyo, Japan to wrestle Pro Wrestling Noah. I went over there for three months as a dojo stay, and I got to wrestle a lot of their top guys of Sagira and Marafuji. I even wrestled the GHC Heavyweight Champion uh, Suzuki Gun. So that definitely so far has been the biggest accomplishment that I can hang my hat on. The single biggest accomplishment in my career is definitely the two tours I've got to do with Pro Wrestling Noah in Japan. I did, I did the first tour uh, by myself, and that was just training. That's all I did while I was there. And then this last year, I was fortunate enough to get to go again with Gamble, and we were there for three months, and we were actually wrestling along with the training. favorite opponents for a long time it was always Brian Breaker because me and him could have a great singles match uh, then when I got more into tag matches uh, in the states it would have to be the Black Hand Warriors Dave Deloria and Michael Magnuson because we just have this chemistry that clicks uh, Elvis Eliaga is always a good one like we get in the ring and just magic happens uh, overseas I really had the pleasure of wrestling uh, Kamano, Kitamiya and Katoge like they, those were like their young boys-ish, but they were moving up in the ranks, and now they're like GHC Junior Tag Champions. In singles so far in my career, um, I would have to say the ones that stick out the most is I debuted for World League against WWE's Simon Gotch, so that one sticks out a lot to me. Um, also, uh, Atsushi Katoge from Pro Wrestling Noah tagged with high level I would have to say it would be Team IOU or uh, definitely the Black Hand Warriors. But what do we think of high level? I hate them. I hate them too, yeah. yeah. High level Enterprise started because little do people know that myself and Jack Gamble have known each other since we were five years old. We started training in the same year. Um, and what had initially happened was he was in a team with Jeff Strong and he ended up having to leave wrestling for a while. I had to say that my tag team partner, Jeff Strong, is injured. And I'm like, who better to replace Strong? Who could I do? So I thought the one person that's had my back the last 16 years, one of my best friends in the entire world, John Webb. So on September 22nd, John White and I have been friends since kindergarten, and we grew up together in the same town and everything. Uh, I was originally tagging with Jeff Strong, and we were known as Strong, as Strong and Reckless. Oh, well, Jeff Strong had some injuries and some other, you know, demons that he had to get to deal with. So I was high and dry of needing a tag team partner. So of course I looked to my best friend, John Webb, and High Level Enterprise was born.
it's it's hard to describe. It's it's one of those. I'm a very big attention whore. I don't know if I can say that. Hopefully that's okay. And when all the eyes are on me and my team, like it's it's magical, man. Everybody is either here seeing me or seeing the other wrestlers, but it's my time. When that music hits and I come through that curtain, the focus is on me. The biggest accomplishment, I think, would have to be winning the Dynamo Pro Tag Belts. Uh, after a almost, I believe, two year long chase, we finally got them. A pride level enterprise, that's easy. I mean, after we beat all the teams they throw at us, Dynamo Pro, we'll still be tag champions. And then our goal really is to go over to Japan again to wrestle Pro Wrestling Noah, hopefully get into the GHC Junior Tag uh, Global League that they do every year. That's one of our big goals, yeah. The original question is, what did we learn in Japan and the differences of wrestling styles from America? Uh, the biggest thing over there, it is more competition. They, it is more sport. They are in the sports section of the newspaper. They are on TV. And over there, you're looked at a lot different being a professional wrestler. Like, you can't just sign up and now I'm a wrestler. Like, you have to spend so much time in each dojo training and they don't have other jobs. Wrestling is their job. Yeah, the, the young boy that was there when we got there had already been there for eight months and that is countless bumps doing all the cooking for everyone else while he stands there and just watches. I mean it, it's a totally different culture and just wrestling as a whole is so much different. That's why it bothered me before, but when guys in America want to become wrestlers and they get upset because they've trained for a month and they're not on shows, like it bugged me previously, but now it really bugs me because these guys go through so much stuff for so long before they get to debut. And then once they debut, like, it's not the same as here where it's like, yeah, I've debuted, I'm a wrestler, look at me. It's the complete opposite. So you have to earn respect now. Like, yeah. Now you, you thought you earned it all the way up till you debuted. Now you debut. Now you're on the bottom of the total pole. You have to earn everybody's respect from the top guy to the guy that's just barely above you. Right. So that, I think that would probably be the biggest thing. My name is Luke Roberts, and I'm the media relations director with Dynamo Pro Wrestling. High Level Enterprise, without question, has become one of the best tag teams, not just in Dynamo Pro. They've become one of the best teams in the entire sport of professional wrestling. They will go as far as they want to go. They've been throughout the Midwestern United States. They've been to Japan. They've wrestled the best wrestlers around the planet. And High Level Enterprise in 2015 and beyond will go as far as they want to go. We've been a team now for uh, three, three, three years. Yeah. Maybe a little, maybe a little less than three years. And in that time, we have become the best, pretty much. So what is next for High Level Enterprise? Well, it's tough to say, but with the charisma and showmanship that High Level Enterprise has, it's hard to imagine that they could go anywhere but up.